Hey guys, this is Ginger Grumpy, and I'm going to bring you a Rampage Perfection on Pinnacle. This is on my brother's account, iLogs, because Ginger Grumpy got banned for uh, his bio, my bio. And my bio said, hey, I'm a black, I'm a, I'm a ginger with a flame crotch and no soul. I'm also black. And apparently what I'm thinking is that there is a black ginger with no soul at Microsoft. And he was very offended. So I don't have a bio like that. Well, anyway, this time I have a, um, a topic to talk about. And my topic is my Halo history. When I first got started off with Halo, I was probably like eight. I don't know. And I got started off. My uncle Troy showed me this awesome game called Halo Combat Evolved. But except there was only the demo. And the demo, if you didn't know, was the map, the Silent Cartographer. And that's the one where you come in on the on the um, pelicans up to the beach on this big island and you like get into the battlefield. And I played that demo so many times. I did everything possible. That was back then when I actually enjoyed playing the campaign. And right now, I just, all I'll do is play the multiplayer and the campaign's like just a job I have to do to finish the campaign. But back then it was like, oh, I just made it to the, I just made it to these big guys. They have so much armor and they're like hunters and they shoot big green blobs. I didn't know anything about the game. I'm telling you, I had to beat that thing over like 50 times. We played it so much, and then finally, we actually went out and bought the Halo Combat Evolved game, and we only played that for about a month. And then that's when we got an Xbox. We never with uh, Halo 2, but we never had any Xbox Live, so we always played like four player. Slayer and our, our game types that we made with my friends at my house on my big screen and um, That was pretty fun we, Looking back we played a lot of weird game types like double health snipers and like swords with double health and shotgun back my lockout lockout was always a favorite map and I think it was called relic. I don't know and uh Oh yeah, and I also like one of the other best parts about Halo 2 back when uh, was the map I think was Outskirts. It was the campaign level where all I would ever do was just right away you run out and you get on top of the roofs and like just wreck everything and do all these glitches on that map. And I know it, I found the uh, secret sword my friend told me about. And then, I don't know how that, I don't know how that map kept us entertained for so long, but it did. And then finally, like three years later, I get an Xbox 360 and I get Halo 3. And I remember in basic training Halo 3, I was like, oh my god, I, I just saw my friend's a brigader, he's all 46. And now I'm a 50 in that game. And I'm looking back and I'm looking back and like... He wasn't even, he's not even that great. I could beat him easily now. And so, and then, well, I got Halo Reach. Halo Reach fails epically. Don't buy that game. Anyway, and I just, I just got it so I could get all the Halo series, all the Halo things. But it's not even made by Bungie and it's not even a first person shooter. So don't ever try, don't, if you like first person shooters. Don't get that. Um, and then ODST came out. I think ODST had a pretty. I thought ODST was pretty fun, run, run. and it had a pretty good campaign. And Doer was the most annoying achievement ever. At least twice we made it to the end, and somebody lags out at the last at the last minute, and then you like. And then you like never want to do the achievement again. And also, people just like don't have the tryhards on. 
like in the other chairs, like day, not day drive through. I don't know. But um, okay. And now reach. Now, I have something to say about reach, and I don't think that reach is um is takes the most s skill. Like, cause up close, all you have to do is spam, and like in Halo Three. It actually took skill because your strafe mattered because of, um, you didn't have to lead, you, you had to lead your shots in Halo 3. In this game, you don't have to lead your shots. And that means that strafe is less important. Also in, in Halo 3, the nades weren't nukes. <laughs> and there's also no armor, armor abilities like armor lock that stops you from getting your overkill extermination that's really annoying <laughs> and there you go we got my perfection and rampage <sighs> bye